Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. This is Kathy, and today I'll be creating a card using the new Spooks and Spells stamp set, the Alpha Doodles stamp set, lots of dots background stamp, and the Wonky Window 2 die, all from Whims Whimsy Stamps. The Spooks and Spells stamp set was just released today. The Alpha Doodles stamp set was released on August 1st, and the other two are some previously released products. One thing I wanted to share with you in this video was a couple of tips on how to get alphabet stamps lined up in a straight line. So what I did was I created a little template for me to use so that I could get my letters lined up straight and centered. I cut a piece of acetate to four and a quarter by five and a half. On the four and a half inch side, I made a little tick mark at two and one eighths inch and then drew a line. And on the five and a half inch side, I made a little tick mark at two and three quarter inches and then drew a line in the opposite direction. So now I know where my center point is. Next, I put the piece of acetate into my MISTI and grabbed the letters for my words, Hocus Pocus. And Hocus Pocus, well, Hocus is five letters. So C is the center letter. So that's the letter that I placed down first. I made sure to center the C on that vertical grid line. Then I just added the other letters around that. And one thing that I was paying attention to was as I was placing the stamps onto the acetate sheet, what I was actually lining up on the horizontal line was the bottom of each letter, not necessarily the bottom of the stamp because the clear stamps do have that little border around them. So to make sure that I had everything lined up right, I paid more attention to the bottom of each letter rather than the border around the stamp. Next, I inked up the stamp with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and stamped it down. Next, I shifted my cardstock up a little bit so I could stamp the word POCUS, and all I had to do was take out the H and put in the P, and I wasn't paying too close attention, and the letter P was stamped a little bit crooked. But that's okay because it's Halloween and things can be wonky for Halloween. After I had the words stamped out, I decided to color them. I really wanted the letters to be gradient from green to purple. And, you know, usually when you mix green and purple, you end up with a really unattractive muddy color. So what I did was I started out with the YG03 and colored the top of the letter. Then I came in with V17 and colored the bottom of the letter. Then I came back with the YG03 to get the two colors to meet, and then I blended them together with YG01. After I had the ink blended and the cardstock was still saturated with ink, I came back in with the YG03 and the V17 to um, add a little bit more color, and then I did another quick swipe with the YG01. On this last swipe with the YG01, I made sure to flick from the purple up into the YG03. After the ink dried, they did blend really well and it, they ended up not looking too muddy. I decided that I wanted to add some color behind my sentiment, so I used Catherine Pooler's Lime Ricky ink with a makeup blending brush and just added a little bit of color around the sentiment. Even after I added in that color, I thought it still needed a little something in the background, which is where the Lots of Dots Cling Mounted stamp comes in. So I put my panel back in the Misty. I lined up the Lots of Dots stamp directly over the Hocus Pocus and stamped it down. And then I shifted my cardstock down and moved the stamp over a little bit. I wanted to make sure that I had enough dots because I'm going to run this through my die cut machine with the Wonky Window 2 die. I wasn't trying to get the dots to be lined up perfectly because if they overlapped a little bit, it would just add, you know, a little bit more dimension. And with the wonky window two die, it was going to cut most of it out anyway. So I wasn't too worried about the dots being overlapped. After I had run the hocus pocus through my die cut machine, I needed to be able to add into the inserts for the wonky window die cut. So I took a scrap piece of cardstock and added the lime ricky ink 
to that and then I stamped the lots of dots stamp on top of that and ran it through my die cut machine just to get the top half of the wonky window dies cut pieces out so that I could piece it all together for my finished card. To finish up the card, I created a card base from orange cardstock. It's a top folding A2 size note card. And I did die cut the wonky window with black cardstock for my frame. I used liquid glue to adhere that to the front of the card. And then I used my tape runner just to fit the rest of the pieces back into the frame. Now for the images from the Spooks and Spells stamp set, I did all of the coloring off camera. I will make sure to have all of the colors that I used listed in the description box below. I just, in the interest of time, I didn't want this video to be entirely too long. I did add foam tape to the back of the colored images so that they would be popped up off of the panel. And then I added in a couple of little details here and there. I added some lime green stickles to the top of the cauldron. I added some clear gems that I had actually colored with my YG03 marker just so that it would match the cardstock a little bit better. I scattered those around. And of course, on the potion bottles, I used my Wink of Stella glitter pen to add a little bit of shine there. And then to bring out the doodling on the letters, I used my white gel pen and filled in the spaces that are doodled around each of the letters. And that's it. That finishes up my card for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, I'd love it if you would. And don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.